Okay, so where am I going? Why do I not, why do you not, how did I click off the screen? Okay, Presto's level has increased. Why, what? Is that, wait, what? Why is the controller changing constantly? Up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, L, R, start. Up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, L, R, start. Is it because I'm using the number pad? Is that switching the controller setup or something? I don't like it. It's bothering me. It's bothering me a great deal. Could you not do that? Be ever so appreciative. Fuck. I forgot about them. I told myself not to forget. Still forgot anyway. Go figure. The sunset of your life approaches. Yeah. I'm scared. Truly. First of all, I have my boy Grudius here. You know, dropping it like it's hot. The, you know, the hero of our freaking time. The hero we need but don't deserve. Mr. Faceless Mook 327 So clearly, we are destined to win this. I mean, and there's also the fact that he has cavalry versus soldier, which is going to be pretty much the means with which we are going to secure our victory here. I'm not going to Sonic Wave. That's kind of a waste. Again, I'm more concerned with actually attacking them and, and you know burning their health as fast as possible because right now the troop advantage is large enough that I don't necessarily have to worry too much F, F you, man. I don't have to worry that much about destroying his troops. Okay, advance. I'm starting to get out of habit of just instantly meleeing on the off chance that something is going to get completely F'd and then the game effectively soft locks and then I'm screwed until the, you know, battle is over. Okay, let's Sonic Boom then. Hold on just one second. I can't mute this. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Never mind for holding on just one second because I'm afraid to press any buttons on my keyboard here for fear that I'm going to break something. The, I swear to God, this emulator, I mean, it's a really, really good emulator. It's a very, very, like, it's the only Saturn emulator that actually works with any measure of success at all. I mean, no disrespect to your boost, but it doesn't, or your bows or whatever the hell it is, but it does not work, like, 80% of the time. Glunther. But, uh, I'm really afraid to press any buttons on my keyboard, because it seems like every single thing on the keyboard is bound to something in here. And every time I, I bind something to a keyboard somewhere, it has a tendency to be like, NOPE! I'm gonna turn off your UI! Ha <laughs> ha! And I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Especially when I'm recording, because I will be damned if I'm recording this a third time after doing this for the second. Even though it, legitimately, this has ended up, like, way better the second time than it did the first. This is going a lot better, even though I'm still a dumbass and made stupid strategic mistakes. This is still ending up a lot better than it did in, uh, I would still rather not have to re-record this a third time because fuck that, basically. Gunther? I just took out your twin. Sorry. I hope you don't mind. Are you gonna use your little stabby pokey sword McJigger thing? It's probably the way you want to roll, but if you don't, you know, that's, that's on you, I suppose. Yep. It's on you. All you. Go figure. Okay. Into death we must go, however briefly. Yeah. I know no one will ever mod this game because it's 20 years old and not that popular to begin with, but I really wish if anyone ever modded the game that they would just remove this from existence because F these guys for real. For real, for real. Ooh, solar flare. What the hell is that? What's solar flare? I am genuinely curious about this. I've never heard that spell before. Oh, it's like that beam of light thing, but it hits your troops as well as theirs. Okay. Sense has been made. Oh, that's right. I had that army heading that way too. Somehow I had instantly forgotten that as well. I promise, I'm not bad. I, I kinda am, but I, I try not to be. Also, I don't have shit. He has nothing though, so he has nowhere to run. My big thing is just surviving this motherfucker. 
All right, so it looks like Hagane's my heavy hitter here, which kind of scares me. What the hell was I thinking sending these guys down? And where was I sending them? Was I sending them from somewhere in the highway? That, like, honestly, I don't even remember anymore. It's been a few days since I've played. What the hell was I thinking? Or was it was just, hey, here are random people with, you know, art assets that are not completely reused. I should use these. Honestly, that knowing me, that was probably my reasoning. Hey, here are art assets that aren't reused. They have unique sprites. Not even, actually, they don't have unique sprites. They just have unique avatars. Hey, they have unique avatars. I'm going to use them. Sure. All right, May. Pass me. That sounds pretty good. Sounds legit. Also, he's kind of kicking my ass here. He hits pretty hard. All right, there is that. Hmm. Go ahead, regroup. Let's get on their defensive end. Actually, no, fuck that. Advance. Fuck it. Don't even care. Hagen can defend himself, I would hope. Come on. Just don't freaking die, son of a bitch. He's still at MP left. I mean, this is like the endest of the end game, so it doesn't really matter if I take losses here. But I'll still leave anyway. He's gonna get captured. He has one HP left. I know that. He's gonna get captured. But at least I can say I tried. He didn't actually physically lose the fight. I just retreated. Wow. Oh my god, he didn't get captured. One HP. That is the clutchest retreat ever. Damn it. Peltarna. I should probably use her for something else. I just hit my microphone stand like six times in a row. I'm very sorry for that. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll use Duran. Duran. I probably should have used him in the first place. Maybe? I'm not really sure, to be truthful. But, I mean, well, maybe it's for the best, because monks and beasts in this game are equal. So, if I had used him, uh, him being a gain, when he only had four troops left, it would have been, um, a more strategic disadvantage of me versus the soldiers, which is already at a regular advantage, just to begin with. I'm gonna flame cannon you in the face, cuz I can! Also, I didn't realize Duran had Flame Cannon. I've never used this character past, like, level 4. So it's interesting to find out that he actually has, you know, somehow useful skills. It's impressive how little I actually know about this game after beating it, like, 15 times. Because I find- I'm, I'm kind of, like, not ho not- Shit! That is not the button I wanted to press! Why did I press that button, me? Why was I not paying attention? So anyway, it's impressive to find- I'm, I'm kind of old school in that- or maybe not old school, just kind of, you know, set in my ways where if I find a strategy that works, I just tend to use it until that strategy no longer works. Which probably is not a very strategic way of doing things, but it's also fucking tried and true, dude. It, it, it gets the job done. Beltarna, what do you have? Summon Wyvern, that hurts like a bitch. Flame Cannon. I like Flame Cannon. I'm gonna use you. You're gonna set Gongos on fire a couple of times, okay, Reiner? Even though he has Holy Shield on top of it, which is really weird, but then for some reason it says Holy Shield is like a fire-based spell, which is doubly really weird. Well, what the hell do I know? But hey, I'm actually gonna use Archers for something in this, I wanted to say expansion, in this playthrough, so here we go! Go, go, Gadget! Flame cannon, more than meets the eye. Damn, that hits hard, though. The archers don't. They don't hit for shit. Also, I just realized that they make absolutely no sound when they die. I think I've realized that about six or seven times now, but there we are. Flame cannon one more time. Hopefully they'll do enough damage that this will just end him outright. Not quite, but that shot did, so... Good clutch shot, Archer. I'd promote you if I knew who you were. I don't, though, so... Womp womp. Yes, Gongos and Rygar have both been captured, which means Sazarhad, or Saharazad, is basically running free, you know, through the fields, all, you know, swinging in the breeze, basically. So basically, that means that, uh, the world has been conquered for the glory of Gongos. Not Gongos. Who the hell am I playing? Leon. The world has been conquered for the glory of Leon. Yes, yes, clearly. 
Clearly I know what I'm talking about. Obviously. Don't question it! So now here comes the inevitable, like, I have nothing to do, so let me just go ahead and make sure people are, uh, properly stocked for the end when I will just continue to never use them, I suppose. But again, here comes the, brings up the, uh, like, the, the Sukaden issue that I may have brought up previously, such that after a certain point, oh, I forgot about you, Saharzad. Instantaneously, within a matter of moments, I actually forgot that you're a thing that exists in this world. You're nearly dead. I should probably do something about that. But I like Reiner. He has pew pew spells, and I would like to use those. So, there is that. Now, the question is this. Um... Hmm. I can probably kill him relatively quickly, I think. I mean, he's probably strong against magic, but he also has, like, 40 HP. So I really hope that, um, and like, you know, no defensive capabilities to speak of, Ooh, that would be pretty. But I don't want to use it. It won't do me any good, basically. It won't, that is, it won't do more good than a couple of these to the face well, that is. Come on. Oh, forgot he had holy shield, and it makes him invincible. I misplayed that. Stand by. Now you're fucked. Get wrecked. If you could ever get shot in the face, that'd be that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, now. Get wrecked. Go F yourself, Saharzad. I may capture you, I may kill you. I don't really know, and frankly, I don't really care. But either way, you effing deserved it. So there's that. He's been captured. Yay! Another general, another mouth to feed. Oh boy, IRL. Real world problems. Nobody ever thinks about that shit. Now. Now at this point I may do something off screen. Oh. You have come to be laid low by me, King of Topaz. I cannot control my desire to kill any longer. Xanon of Latonia, I have heard rumors about you. I expected that you would engage in a fair fight. Apparently I was wrong. You are nothing more than a murderous fiend. The thirst for blood has destroyed your humanity. Your words will not confuse me, Leon. I have tasted power, and I shall not surrender it. It is you who must face the truth. And that truth is that your blood shall feed Eclisis next. Wait! Xanon! What is the matter, Yuri? Xanon, I, I agree with Leon. You've changed. Eclisis has enslaved you in darkness. You must cast it aside now while you still can. This is simply beyond belief! My own servant now rises to betray me. It is not betrayal. As a priest, I feel the dark power within the sword. It is growing, Xanon. Soon it shall consume your entire being. Have you forgotten our original dream, Xanon? Seriously, is that a guy or a girl? And are they like Bow Chicka Bow Wow? It was to establish a free country. Not a land serving the power of a dark sword. Sacrificing citizens to keep the dream alive. But the sword is the only means we have to rule. Without it, we have not the power to control the genre. Yes, but with it, Legendra will be enslaved. Enslaved to the ways of darkness. It is no better than Mandrake's foul plan. Wait, so he knows about Mandrake's plan? But nobody else- Oh! I think I understand, like, the reason this story exists, even though it doesn't exist in the other ones. I think Latonia was supposed to be maybe considered, like, the ninth kingdom that started and wanted to kind of run around Legendra taking over anything or taking over everything to beat Madric and all that kind of stuff. But he used the Dark Sword of Clissus because he doesn't have, like, the natural dragon power, spear, what the fuck ever. And, okay. That's actually kind of interesting. I wish they had used that in the other scenarios. Can't you see that? Or has Eclissus blinded you to the truth? Yuri, there is nothing more to discuss. Xanon, cast aside the sword. Lay down Eclissus. Stop it, Yuri. I'm warning you. Do not come any closer! Please, Xanon, abandon Eclissus. Stop it! I'm warning you! Don't come any closer! Oh. Qua I guess Yuri is a chick? I think? Maybe? 
I mean, that looks rather feminine. I'm assuming it looks like it has boobs. Yuri! Uh, abandoned McClissus before. It will be alright. Super long ellipsis. Gwah! Zanon, what are you doing? Stay back, Leon! I shall seal Eclissus away forever. My blood shall be the last it tastes. For you and for Legendra. I sacrifice my soul. Xanon, no! Yuri, let's reshape our dream. We can build a country for just the two of us. And there, evil can never corrupt the things we love. Yuri, ellipsis. Xanon, ellipsis. I have done something irreparable. I shall fight no longer. My countenance mirrors the sickened soul I have become. Yuri died trying to stop Eclissus. I shall not let it continue feeding on the innocent. Goodbye. I almost feel sorry for him. He's obviously a tortured soul. We are going back to Topaz. Well, that was the easiest way to capture a castle ever. Which is a really, <laughs> really awful way of just kind of being like, well, that just happened. That's a thing. Alrighty then. That happened. He committed suicide. Alright. I didn't even have to fight him this time. I thought in another scenario you were supposed to fight him first, and then he's just kind of like, oh, her, her, you're taking my land, are you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Army. Okay, you guys are gonna go, like, here. Because now I have this bitchin' castle, and I want it. Effectively, what I'm doing now is just kind of, honestly, pissing around and wasting time. Because the next turn I am going to have to go up to Shadow Fiend Tower, whatever the hell it's called. I, I truthfully don't know. Truth? Truth! Truthfully! Tree fitty! Um, I honestly don't know. I think that's supposed to be- that's, that kind of like triggers the, the storyline endgame stuff going on. Nick- Mick Jigger stuffs. So hopefully that will make life easier. However, I might spend some time off screen, um, uh, just farming the shit out of, uh, what is it? I think it's like Claystall Castle? One of the castles has a dragon crest. And before I do anything, I want to give me some damn dragons. Because I certainly have enough freaking badges, or award tickets, whatever, I don't know, like magic tickets, like freaking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've got enough of them to sort of, you know, pimp out whoever I want. Damn it. And I really need to pimp some people out. Dag nabbit. Though this is going to be a rather shortish episode if I cut it down the way I'm feeling I should. Domestic affairs beckon. Let's see. Storyline? Most certainly, correct? There is. Oh. <sighs> Guard duty is so boring. Ellipsis. Who are you? Ugh! Smack. Don't worry. He only took the flat of my sword. I think Lord McCall is down this way. Come on! Hurry up, Shonye! Lord McCall! Uh, are you alright? Ellipsis. Uh, Izumo has been destroyed. My honor has been shattered. Lord McCall. I felt something weird in the air, so I came down here. Zagat, it is you! Kodiak! But he's such a milk shop. He's, but he's such a milk sop of a sovereign. You came here risking your life to save him? Oh, I do not forgive you. I do not forgive easily those who insult my lord. Maybe you want to have it out with me right here. You've got it. Draw your weapon. What? What's the matter? What do you mean, what? Thief! You're quite the nervy chap stealing into my castle. Ah, is, is this the Izumo king himself? Wait, Lord Leon. I am sorry for my subordinate's rudeness. I will compensate for that with my life. <laughs> the last thing I want is a dead ninja king. The fight against you was completely unexpected. We are not to destroy the Izumo nation. We just need all the potential off ah, the potential offensive power we can get to face the coming threat of an immense evil force. So if you will, we welcome an alliance with you. Again, this is something that would have been served months prior with just a sort of like, hey, there's an evil god coming up to destroy everything we know and love and hold dear, so... Pinky swear? Immense evil. Oh, what is this eerie light in my hand? 
Behold the crest of the star dragon. He makes it sound like a freaking magic trick. Behold! You're the son of God. Sup? The crest of the sign that you are one of the chosen. One of the eight warriors who will lead the fight against Madric. I, you know, add it there. Embellished, if we will. Madric! You have heard the name of the Dark God? The people of, Shu the people of Azumo shall never forget it. We of Azumo are not from this land originally. The island which was once our home was sunk by Madric. In just one terrible night, our homeland was destroyed. If we had not found Legender, our people would have died. To us, Madric is the essence of evil. He must die. Is that so? Hmm. Well then. Madric is the immense evil you spoke about. If so, we are two friends with a common enemy, right? You catch on fast. Will you cooperate with us? Without hesitation, friend. Your Majesty! That Bozak devil we caught is raising hell in the prison. He's so violent. What should we do? What? Oh. That Gongos never knows when he's beaten. And I think I should tell you. Garius heard of it and went down there to stop him. What? Oh no. Garius can't handle him. He'll get his throat ripped out. Okay, settle down, everybody. I'll go see about this. Roar! I'm so disappointed! Shut up, Fang Face. You want me to beat you, silly? Hold on, Garius. I'll talk to him. Ah, uh, there's no talking to this... this beast. Hey, you're looking at a little frustrated, little Gondos. Yes? Anything I can do to help? It is very big shame that the gallant man of the forest is captured by the enemy. Not so good, no. Would you like to do some of that frustration? Fighting against Goldark? What? You have much nerve asking that. I am your enemy, yes. Now that we've fought the good fight, I can see that you aren't such a bad guy after all. Well, you mean you need the Gallant Man's power? To help you break Goldar's war spirit, yes? I see. It is only natural. Only natural, yes. Dude sounds like fucking Rain Man. And we will fight against a bigger enemy than Goldark. A much bigger enemy, Lord Gongos. Much bigger enemy? Hey, what is this light? Arr! The Crest of the Star Dragon. What is the Crest of the Star Dragon? The crest is a sign of the, war the Dragon Force warriors. There's like 15 different goddamn translations, people. The chosen who must stop the evil Madric from ri reviving. Words! The revival of false god Madric. Ah. Now I see. It is why the forest is so unsettled recently. As I thought, I am a great man. I am selected as one of the Dragon Force. Yes. Now we are the friends, so you don't have to worry. You can dance around there, over there, yes! I have the idea, everybody. Let's have festival! Everybody prepare for big festival. Dance and eat! Raoul, yes, yes! Winner or loser, it doesn't matter. He's just plain noisy. Completely out of control. <sighs> yes, it is fitting of our chief, the great Gongos. He deserves the honor of being chosen. Yeah, Gongos is the pride of the beast man! How wonderful, the god lord of the forest is famous! Oh, this is wonderful and true. Go, Gongos! <laughs> you are so noisy. What's happened? Oh, you are an elf. Lord Gongos, it is my understanding for that for a long time, the elves and the beastmen have been enemies. This goes back to the time of the beast king, Leviathan, and the spirit queen, Farla, battling each other. But as the queen of Pale Moon, Tears is a valued friend. We shouldn't like to find quarreling between two such... Hmm. Tears is a good name. Pretty name for elf girl. My goodness, I think the hero of the forest is in love. It is love at first sight. Tears, will you marry me? Oh no, spring is in the air. There's a love connection, jungle style. Oh, makes me think of the freaking bloodhound gang. Gongos is so adorable. <laughs> oh god. Beat the bongos. It's true love confession. Ow. Well, I'm 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 flattered, of course, but I, I mean. Well, I won't ask for an answer immediately. You will want to give me your answer. Once you see my true power on the battlefield, yes. Don't worry, Tyrus. I will beat up Madric for you. You will? Why... Thank you very much. Looks like the start of a beautiful friendship. Well then. That's story time for you. Like, and that's also probably what happens when you beat two countries in one turn. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Look at all those commendations, though. 
Look at all of those wonderful awards I can use for the Dragon Crest I don't currently have. Hey, Vlad's back! Yay! Fantastic! Well, I'm gonna cut off here for just a second. I need to eat some food and whatnots. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.